This video is about Radix sort. Radix sort is a very different approach to sorting than the comparison-based sorts that we have seen to this point. So suppose that we have only three-digit numbers. Rather than comparing the values of the numbers, so comparing 432 to 312, for example, um, we could put them in numbered bins according to the first digit. So we put this in a bin for 4, this in a bin for 3, this in a bin for 3, this in a bin for 3, this in a bin for 1, this in a bin for 1. That would give us the numbers kind of sorted. They would be sorted according to the first digit, at least. So Radix sort is going to do something like that, except that it actually sorts first from the smallest digit, the least significant digit, all the way up to the largest digit, and it turns out that that does the right thing, as I will explain more about uh, after we see an example. So, here are our example numbers, <coughs> and we're going to uh, have uh, five bins, uh, uh, just so that things fit on the board better. I didn't try to have ten bins that would fit all the way across, so I only have digits from zero to four, but this would work for digits from zero to nine, or alphabetic characters, or ASCII characters, or whatever. Okay, so have a bin to put uh, things uh, with the least digit of zero in, a bin to put things with the least significant digit of one, a bin to put things with the digit of two, a bin to put things with the digit of three, and a bin to put things with the digit of four. So, 432, its least significant digit is two, so we're going to put it in the two bin. 312, its least significant digit is also two, so we're going to put it in the two bin. 304, its least significant digit is four, so we're going to put it in the 4 bin. 310 has a least significant digit, a last digit of 0. So we're going to put it in the 0 bin. 123 has a least significant digit of 3. So we're going to put it in the 3 bin. And 124 has a last digit of 4. So we're going to put it in the 4 bin. And we can see, if we read from left to right, the numbers are now sorted according to uh, the least significant digit, 310 nothing with a last digit of 1, 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, 4, 1, 2, 4. So, they're sorted according to the last significant digit. Now what we're going to do is make another set of bins and sort them according to the middle digit. Let me write that more clearly. So, for 3, 10, the middle digit is 1, so we're going to put it in here. Uh, we don't have anything in the one bin to take out. Uh, in the two bin, we've got 432, so that has a middle digit of 3, so that goes in the three bin. And we have 312, that has a middle digit of 1, so that goes in the one bin. And we have 123, middle digit of 2, so that goes in the two bin. We have 304, middle digit of 0, so that goes in the zero bin. 304, and middle digit of 2 and 124, so that goes in the 2 bin for 124. And so we can see then that each of these numbers, uh, that these numbers are sorted by their last two digits, 0, 4, 1, 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2. So what remains is to sort them by their first digit or the most significant digit. So I'm going to do another set of bins and do that. And by the way, as we're doing this, we're careful to read things out of the bins from top to bottom uh, so that we maintain the order that we've already put things in so far. So, 304, sorry, excuse me, 304 has a uh, first digit of 3, so we write it down in the 3 bin, 304. 310 has a first digit of 3, so we write it down in the 3 bin, 310. 312 has a first digit of 3. So we write it down in 3 bin, 312. Then um, 123 has a first digit of 1. So we write it in the 1 bin. 124 has a first digit of 1. So we write it in the 1 bin. 432 has a first digit of 4. So we write it in the 4 bin. And so now, if we look and read this across um, and from top to bottom, 
we have the numbers sorted. 123, 124, 304, 310, 312, 432. So the output of our sort is 123, nothing in the zero bin to read off. Uh, 124, again, we're careful to read from top to bottom. Um, nothing there. We're here, 304, 310, 312, 432. And so we see that our we have our numbers in sorted order. And this process would work for any set of three-digit numbers, although you would use 10 bins instead of just five if you have digits from 0 through 9 inclusive. So, let me explain the intuition behind this a little more. So, to get a proper sort, what we did was we first bend by, put in bins by the last digit, which gave us something sorted by the last digit, 0, 2, 3, 4, right? And then, we put things, took those numbers and put them in bins by the second digit, maintaining the existing ordering uh, when uh, the second digit is the same. Um, so 304, 310, 312, 123, 124, 432. See, these are sorted by the second digit. And then where the second digits are the same, they're sorted by the first digit, like 310. Uh, we took out before we took out 304, or sorry. 312, 310, we took out before we took out 312. So 304, 310, 312, so 04, 10, 12, 23, 24, 32. So we've got things sorted by the second digit and the last digit, so everything with the first digit. Now we sort them by the first digit, being careful to maintain the ordering that we've got so far by the second and third digit in the case of ties, uh, so the ties work properly, in other words. And so we get. Uh, 123 and 124 and 304 and 310. So since these are the same in the first digit, we maintain the ordering. Uh, the ordering that we're maintaining from here gives us the right ordering. Since these are the same in the first digit, the ordering we're maintaining from here, 304, 310, 312, gives us the right ordering here. And so then we sorted things by the first digit. And where the first digit was a tie, we have them sorted by the second digit from this step here. And uh, where the second digit was a tie as well, we have things sorted by the third digit from our first step. And that is how you do radix sort. Now, one very interesting property of radix sort is that the runtime is not, uh, well, the runtime is proportional to the size of the numbers as well as the number of numbers. Um, so, strictly speaking, it is linear in terms of the number of numbers you are giving as input and also linear in another factor, which is the length of the numbers. So we could write then that the runtime is O K of N, where K is the number of digits in the numbers and N is the number of numbers. And that is radix sort.